This just in from BreakingIsraeliNews.com. A 1,000-year-old archaeological find on the Temple Mount may have just ended centuries of debate. What was discovered was a 1,000-year-old pot shard found on the Temple Mount depicting a perfect image of a menorah. The item was discovered by the Temple Mount Shifting Project and is believed to be dated back to the Byzantine rule over Jerusalem, 324 to 640 CE. Co-founder and director of the project, Zaki Deriva, had this to say about it. What makes the discovery significant is that it originated upon the Temple Mount itself. The design of the menorah upon the pot shard may shed some light on an old age debate regarding the appearance of the menorah that stood in the hall of the first and second temples. The origin of the design of the menorah dates all the way back to the book of Exodus chapter 25 where it states, and you shall make a menorah of pure gold. The menorah shall be made of hammer work. Its base and its stem, its goblets, its knobs, and its flowers shall all be one piece with it, and six branches coming out of its sides, three menorah branches from its one side and three from the other side. So for the six branches that come out of the menorah, and you shall make its lamps seven. Another reason that this find is so important is the fact that it once again proves the biblical account found in the book of Exodus. Furthermore, these are not the only discoveries that have been found. According to the Temple Institute, they have found other things around that same area, including a fragment of the sculptured stone of the second temple period engraved with an anchithus leaf in Herodian style. It is styled in a very high level, and it comes from a very important structure that stood on the Temple Mount during the Second Temple period and from the temple itself. The second is an Iranian arrowhead, and it's the type used by Nebuchadnezzar's Babylonian army that destroyed the first temple in 586 BCE. Very few arrowheads have been found in Jerusalem. The third is a bulla with a seal impression. The bulla, made of clay, was originally attached to a document or parcel and still retains part of its original text on its face. It is black in color, and it's the result of being burned by the fire that ironically caused its preservation. The bulla became defragmented in ancient times and is incomplete. The letters preserved on it read L, Y, H, W, and A, M, R. In light of another published seal, it may be possible to complete the writing as belonging to the son of Immer. The house of Immer was a well-known priestly family at the end of the first temple period, roughly from around the 7th to 6th centuries BCE, and the days of the return to, to Zion. Now, all these items can be found at the templeinstitute.org, and they've got a complete list of some of the archaeological discoveries and founds that they have discovered. All that to say that archaeologists are discovering more and more the Bible's legitimacy through archaeological finds and discovery. I believe what you have just witnessed, especially with the Potshard menorah, proves even more the biblical account. Real quick, if you like what you saw, please hit that subscribe button now and check out my channel. I reveal all kinds of information, keep up to date and report as honestly as I can with the news that is going on. And um, that is what I do here on my channel. Also, um, there's a product called Get the Tea. Uh, life change tea, get the tea.com. This is something I personally use as a detox to cleanse out my system and it will take all toxins out of your body and, and just you're really feeling better as a result. And that's my personal testimony. Um, and it also goes to help and support my channel as well as my partnership with foodforliberty.com. Right now, I do believe they are offering free shipping through January 1st if you don't have prepped food supplies please, please, please get prepped with food. It's one of the essentials that we're going to need when push comes to shove. And we really are uh, living in the tribula end time tribulation, I should say, not the official tribulation, but the end time period uh, spoken of in biblical prophecy. So get prepared with all these things. And thanks again for checking out my channel.